Hi, I'm Brian English, Wapler Forum Name Hyperbytes. In this module, we're just going to have a look at the uh, action that we've just created, the SEO page creation uh, within the globals, and just see how it actually works. So what I'm going to do is we, we've got our SEO table here. Then we can see it's, it's obviously currently blank. All I'm going to do is I'm going to click over to our index page and I'm going to open that page in a browser. Let's close that. Now, if everything's worked correctly now, that opening of that, it should have checked to see whether there was any SEO tags attached. If there weren't any SEO tags attached, then it should have created them. So let's have a look and see what we've got. Oops, didn't mean that. Uh, let's view our data. Let's fetch our data. And there we see that we have two entries. Now, why do we have two entries? Quite simple, really. Um, if we, if your page create calls an API action, then unfortunately that is a, a, a quick server request, and it will also create a entry for that. And we really don't want that. We we're very happy with the home page gives all of these basic tags, but we really don't want that. So it's it's an easy fix. We go back to our um, global action, and basically we just tell it. Um, to if the action is an API action, then ignore it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an action. I'm going to remember we talked about um, splitting this. I'm going to call this um, URL split. We're going to take our server URL and we're going to split that or string by slash characters now we can actually add a conditional in there what we can say is core actions condition and that condition will be if the first part of that so I'm just trying to find out where, where URL splits gone there Definitely have a set value URL split there. Oh, there we are. I knew it was there somewhere. But in actual fact, we're only looking at the first one. So that would be the first part that would say API. So that's our condition. then we if if it is an api we want it to ignore everything otherwise we want it to do that probably better than if we to say a not equal there so we say not equal to i just want to take that out don't like the way it's done that Some reason aside to tweet because we've added a an array element at the end it's it's got confused a little bit. So that is where we want if the URL split one is equal to, is not equal to API, then we're gonna do this. So I'm just gonna now drag those actions into the then bit. And now hopefully it will detect that the URL starts with API and it will completely ignore that bit of code. So let's save that. Um, let's go first of all into our database. Let's um, view our data and let's just get rid of those two records. So we've got a nice blank one. Let's go back into our home page. Let's fire that up again. Let's go back into our SEO table. 
I will keep hitting the wrong button. Uh, let's view our data. Fetch. And you'll see now it's completely ignored that API. And we'll be using a similar technique because we not only want to ignore API, we probably want to also ignore all our admin functions because our admin functions have hit behind a uh, um, password anyway. Google isn't going to get in there or any of the other engines. But even if they did, we really don't want it to be tagged up because we don't want people in the public forum using a search engine to find out what is in our administrative functions. So there we are. That shows that that action that we've written works. Um, it will create our actions as we want them. So let's just do some final checks. Um, we've got our data there. Let's just power up that login one again. And let's close that then let's open that index page again and then if we look at our data we should only see one entry for each of them fetch our data and you see we've actually ended up with two entries for the same page which shouldn't happen so there's obviously a logic error somewhere in our globals uh, if we have a look at that, I can spot it straight away. If you remember, we renamed that query to a global SEO query, but what we haven't done is amended the condition for running that query. So let's um, update that. Let's save. Let's just go back into our table. I'm just going to clear it off again deleting that data off and let's just um, run the index page and then just refresh it a couple of times just to fire it up multiple times if we have a look at our SEO table fetch our data it's worked correctly now we've only got that single um, entry for as required so next we're going to be looking at how to um, set up the layout page and the content pages so that we can accept those parameters from those global actions. So I look forward to seeing you in the next stage.